welcome guys welcome guys on my physics um video number one and today we are looking at work energy and power so um uh, look at what connects these three words then we'll, we'll look at some ex examples now what we know that eh? work work is the product of force and distance now this distance is in, in the same direction as the force if the force is going this direction now distance must be also in that same direction that's when we can say work is done but if so here there's work done but if distance is going like that then a force is going like that here there's no work done they just what we call moment in short so work is a product of force and distance now we know that force is measured in newtons then distance is measured in meters therefore the units for work are newton per meter now a newton per meter it's the same as what you can like you can even push as a jaw it's okay All right so that's what i can say about work let's go to energy now know that energy is the ability the ability to do work so the ability to do work now we already know what work is so energy we are going to concentrate on two types of energy that's what the kinetic energy which is given by this formula squared where v is velocity m is mass v can be found by 2g like that so this is a formula in case i'm not given anything how you can find the velocity then you can calculate your ax your sorry your, your kinetic energy now kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a moving object for something to move it needs a force now that force it will be applied on that object hence it's going to start um, moving hence it's, it's going to, at, to attain what to call motion and motion is accompanied by what kinetic energy the second one is the potential energy Now this is a type of energy uh, possessed by an object due to height. So if there is this object put there and this is a ground, we discover that the height from there to there is what matters when you are finding what uh, potential energy. So when something is here, it, it has got maximum potential energy. But when something is here, it has got zero potential energy. That means there is no more height here. Therefore, potential energy is given by mass, gravity any height so m is the mass g is the gravitational field strength on earth you can use the 10 or you can use the 9.8 and height is the uh, h the height of the an object from the ground so let's see what we can look at power now power is the rate at which work is done or at which energy is transferred from one point to the other so that's what we can say that power is now power is given by energy over time now know that energy is given in joules and time is given in what second okay so a joule per second that's what you call a watt watt so power is measured in watts which is w so let's look at this example which says a stone of mass 20 kg on top of the building find the potential energy and the kinetic energy at a b and point c so this is a drawing of the diagram i'm sure you can see it properly so this is how the diagram is we've got position a b 
and you see there and the height is 20 meters remember distance must be in meters mass must be in kgs so if i give it mass in grams or whatever distance in, in centimeters convert this to their basic what units so let's see on how we can answer so at point a we are going to find kinetic energy potential energy b we find the potential kinetic c as well kinetic and potential so let's go so potential energy at a we know that is given by this formula very well so mass is 20 and glass is 10 and height is 20 as well so we are saying 200 times 20 and to give us 0 0 0 4000 watt joules of energy as potential energy then how are we going to find kinetic energy at a we know that kinetic energy is given by half mass squared we don't have velocity of course of course if we are trying, if we used to find the the formula to find the velocity here to give us zero but in short we are saying at point a since potential energy is maximum our kinetic energy at this point is zero joules so whenever so whenever potential energy is maximum kinetic energy is zero they there the, the can't be kinetic energy when potential energy is maximum there that means no more kinetic energy is there now how can we find potential energy and kinetic energy at point b now when you look at point b here it's more like half of 20 which is 10 so we are saying at b potential energy is equal to mass times 10 times 10 height which is it? the height is half i'm sure you can see it's half there so we are saying it's 200 times 10 that will give us 2000 what joules all right so at this point Current energy and potential energy, they are equal. So if potential energy is equal to 2000 at point B, right? That means even kinetic energy will be equal to what? 2000. So even here they are equal. Current energy is equal. 2000 joules. So let's go at point C. So at point C, here at point C so we can see that there's no distance moved here so potential energy is zero hence kinetic energy is maximum so if we say potential energy is equal to mass times 10 times zero height so it's zero joules potential energy at C that means the whole potential energy which, which was at A will be converted to kinetic energy so kinetic energy becomes 4,000 joules. They can ask you to give a reason why kinetic energy is like that. Just say kinetic or the potential energy at A has been converted to kinetic energy at C. So we've got another example uh, which says an elevator carries 10 people of 70 kg mass each through a distance of 20 meters in 20 seconds. Cal calculate the potential energy generated to max the kinetic energy also the power generated so let's go and see how we can answer this question if you are okay you can even pause the video then you try to answer them on your own let's go so we know that we've got mass 70 kg each of 10 people so the total mass is 700 kg we've got a distance of 20 meters also also time 20 seconds this will enable us to find what we're looking for so how do you find potential energy potential energy is equal to mass height gravity mass is 700 gravity is 10 height is 20 so this will give us jaws of energy so this will give us 140,000 joules of energy. That's the potential energy. Now, how do we find the kinetic energy? We, we haven't been given velocity. So kinetic energy will be equal to potential energy. If we want to prove that, we'll say velocity is this. Square root of 2. Gravity is 10. Height is 20. So this will give us the square root of 400. That will be 20 meters per second. Then we say... Kinetic energy is equal to half 
so mass is 20 sorry mass is 700 times 20 squared over 2 now 20 squared is 400 so 400 times 700 to, to give you 280,000 over 2 so kinetic energy becomes 140 as well so like, like I was saying you haven't been given velocity kinetic energy becomes equal to potential energy which is just the same in this case you have the same potential energy RZ kinetic energy now let's go and see how we can find the power now we know that our energy our energy is what 140,000 joules of energy so I'm saying power is equal to energy over time and our energy is 140 time is 20 seconds remember time must be in seconds so we cancel there we cancel so I remain with 140 over 2 so we're saying power will give us 2 into 40 that's 7 0 0 0 watts or you can say 7 kilo watts which is just the same as 7000 watts so thank you for watching the video share comment don't forget to like the page and invite more people thank you so much have a blessed day